Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Nexus 5 Softmodder. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to enable multiple user accounts on your Nexus 5. Multiple user profiles is something that Google came out with on the tablets a little while ago, which is a pretty nifty feature, which meant that if you were passing your tablet around the house or different family members were using it, you can boot into different um, accounts, so you can load in different accounts when you're setting it up, which is pretty useful if you want to keep your stuff separate from other people's stuff. Your Nexus 5 is nothing if not a small little mini tablet, so there's no reason to not have that feature on your phone too, in case there are other people using it for different reasons. So to do this, you have to make sure that you root it, you've got the exposed framework, and you can create a custom, you can create a backup using a custom recovery. I have guides for this in the linked in the full tutorial. It's really easy and really quick to do. And if you want to know how to do it, just check out the full tutorial. After that, after you root it and you've got the exposed framework, check out uh, settings and enabled unknown sources. It's something that you should always have done. If you don't have it done already, just go to settings and security and then unknown sources. Once you do that, you'll be able to um, install a different module a different exposed module. In this case, we're going to use Gravity Box. So uh, check out Gravity Box in the link in the, full, in the full tutorial. Once you've got that downloaded, you can open up in your downloads. You'll see Gravity Box here. Once that's installed on your phone, open the exposed installer, go into modules, and you'll see it here. You'll see Gravity Box KK. Put a checkbox here and then reboot your phone. Once your phone's rebooted, you're going to open Gravity Box by going to the drop down menu and then going to Gravity Box. You'll now see this as one of your quick settings. Open Gravity Box, go to Lock Screen Tweaks, and then check for, we're looking for Enable Lock Screen Rotation here. Go ahead and put a check mark there. Once you've got Enable Lock Screen Rotation, you need that to actually enable multiple users on your phone, because the screen is actually too small for that. But being able to turn your phone into landscape mode is what's going to be able to do that for us. So once you have Enable Lock Screen Rotation, you need a Build Prop Editor so you can edit that on your phone. I recommend going to the Play Store and checking out Build Prop Editor, just do a search for that, and then install it. Once you've got that installed, open it up. Editing the Build Prop is a very um, very critical thing to do on your phone, and it can really mess things up if we're not careful. So this is the time you really do want to make sure that you make a backup on your device. Check out the full tutorial for a link on how to do that, but you really want to make sure you have a backup at this point. Once you do and everything's good, go open the Build Prop Editor, it'll look like this. We're going to tap the pencil here. And you can really do this anywhere, but I like to go down to additional build properties. And you can go anywhere. I go after right here. Just tap anywhere. I, I tapped after id.gms, and you're going to hit the enter key to create a different line. And then you're going to type in the code. Type this in exactly f. It's fwfw dot max underscore users equals four. Once you're done with that, hit the floppy to save it. It'll take a second to save. And then it'll tell you it's saved. So you can actually enter users as anything, but I like to enter users as four. This sets the maximum amount of users on your device as four. You can do two, you can do three, but just go ahead and do four. And then reboot your device by clicking on the overflow menu here and hit reboot. Phone's going to take a second to reboot. We'll wait for it. Once your phone's rebooted, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into settings and you should see a new option that you haven't seen before. So now we have this new setting called users. This is completely new. This is um, what we just did. Tap that. This is what things actually look like on your tablet if you have an Nexus 7 for a second, for, for example, you've seen this before. Once you do that, you can set up a different profile. So I've set up one for guest, and then you can do, um, you can restrict what apps this profile uses, or you can make a completely separate profile from you that someone can use. Um, once you do that, if you go to the lock screen, you, can, you actually have to set up um, a password for yourself before you do this. So set up a pattern password to do whatever you have to do. And then once you go to the lock screen, if you turn your phone into portrait mode, it'll look like this. This is something that you probably haven't seen before. And you can actually load different profiles this way. Now that you've rotated the phone, you've got yours here, and then you can load a different one for guest. And that's how you create multiple user accounts with a little help from an exposed module. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for the full tutorial. Check out Nexus 5 Softmodder. Thanks, everybody.